see everybody this morning and know that the Lord has in store for us words of reassurance. What beautiful words Brother Mark uh, shared with us. The minutes that God is counting what and how we're using them. Boy, it sobered me up, brother. Thank you. I don't know how many minutes are left for me, but I'd like to I dedicate them. Sober. Uh, not really. <laughs> Wasting a lot of time. Thank you very much. That was really from the Lord, and I needed it. Uh, our media will be presented next week by our dear brother, Ed Philoctet and uh, Josh, uh, who are spending a lot of time on the website. They're going to present to us the resources that are available to us on the website. I didn't even know we have so much resources, so I encourage you to start looking up LebanonPrayGroup.org and uh, GraceAndTruthGospelChurch.org. Many things there. Brother Ed is going to give a small presentation next week. He'll take you on the website live here, and he will show you the different things that are available on the, those websites. Wednesday prayer and Bible study, we are at a crucial point at the end of the letter to the Ephesians, but I dare say it's probably one of the most important portions, the believer's warfare. And uh, we've been taking uh, the preparation, we've been taking the provision, we've been taking uh, what our resources are, the full armor of God. But last week we took an important segment called the nine weapons of Satan. Aslihat al-Shaytan at And I would like to encourage you to look at it and listen to it on the website. It is at uh, Grace and Truth Gospel Church. Am I right? All right. So it's there somewhere. Brother Ed knows how to put it, but uh, he will make a link on Grace and Truth Gospel Church. Nine weapons, but we're going to be starting the actual armor. Folks, this is not our armor. It is the armor. It is the full armor of God, piece by piece. I need to know it. You need to know it if you are to be victorious. So if you haven't been attending, please come. And Brother Ed, can they see it live or hear it live? Live, yes. They can hear it live at 7 p.m. Our time starts at 7.30, but actually after the prayer, you can hear it live on the website graceandtruthgospelchurch.org, or you can listen to it later. There will be a link to those who cannot attend, but I'd like you to, to encourage you to come and attend with us. Friday early prayer morning meeting going on gloriously, bringing many requests before the Lord. You have them. Let us know about them. And a special prayer for the events in Syria. Today there's a little uh, ray of hope. Uh, Turkey was making a, a suggestion. They said a shara will make a good solution. Who knows? Maybe they're already planning some kind of a exit from this mess. We pray that the Lord will lead to an exit like this. Assistance was sent. Many people are sending assistance. Our dear sister Yvette Albayadi left yesterday. And uh, we pray that she will be back with good news about what's going on. And... Uh, we uh, prayed last week, and last week we participated in the Arab Day of Prayer, uh, Arab Festival. Many people heard the gospel in there, and uh, keep praying for them. I'd like you to put on your calendar Southern California Christian Medical Dinner meeting on the 22nd of this month. All of you are invited. It's in Cerritos. It's a free event. Please register for it. Let us know. I can almost tell you that many people are registering and there will be it'll be a full house lord willing but grab a seat there and it's a pray plan invite others to it uh, let me know this is, i put the number of the restaurant just in case you get lost but it's right next to Cerritos mall uh, in front of on the, on the second side of the mall and uh, some of you know that restaurant will have been there uh, today is fellowship sunday and you're all welcome to stay after the service for a happy fellowship time and I'd like to announce also next Friday I didn't put this on the thing is the at 7 p.m. is the youth meeting youth meeting we have brother Max brother Josh who's going to be speaking and also uh, is one going to tell his testimony brother one is going to tell testimony it's a vibrant meeting the youth meeting has taken a real dimension and it's really uh, interesting to see how the Lord is working on the youth and through the youth uh, we have excited youth we Older people are happy to see the youth come up so that we can pass the baton and we can retire and let you guys carry on. So thank you so much. Actually, we're not going to retire. We'll just sit, kick, sit in the back and uh, 
and see how God is using you. But we'd like to encourage the youth, come, even if you're not young, come and attend and see how God is working. That also will be live. Am I not, uh, brother? It could be live, or at least it'll be recorded. They have their own website. Would you tell us about this next week? They even have, or in the process of forming their own website, Grace and Truth Gospel Church Youth. GTGC Youth. GTGC Youth. Dot, dot they, they didn't get the actual site, but they go through Weebly, W-E-B-L-Y. This will be announced also next week. And, uh, but today, we're going to be starting Fundamentals of the Faith. After the service, we eat, we fellowship, and then those who are really want to advance and become disciples in the Theology School of Grace and Truth Gospel Church, and I invite all of you to be part of that because you'll be getting a certificate at the end. We're going to be starting the beautiful class of Fundamentals of the Faith, and we're going to have a good introduction today. And believe me, those who will take it will advance. So all of you are invited. Those who want, it's open for you. And we have a free give, free book for you, the workbook. I said the first 10, but we'll, we'll add some more. And uh, if you haven't silenced your phone.